governor of Brazilian Central Bank should have approached the problem. To start, let's understand some quick facts about Brazil's economy. They have been adapting to the inflation targeting regime since 1999. The objective of monetary policy is to price control and the inflation target horizon is just one year, meaning that the central bank needs to respond quickly to the demand or supply shocks to meet the inflation target. Inflation control is primarily achieved by fixing the short term interest rate. In 2015, Brazil was experiencing stagflation. Stagflation is a period of rising inflation but falling output and rising unemployment. In this case, it is negative output which is even worse. As we see on the graph, the short run aggregate supply is shift left due to reduced production which in turn increases price levels. So let's understand Brazil's inflation dynamics. Brazil is a closed economy. It means Brazil lacks trade. Its import and export share to GDP are just 20%. In turn, the prices have to react more strongly to internal supply shocks. It is a low savings economy with high reliance on commodity exports, putting additional pressure on the economy due to currency depreciation and the low capital inflows. Brazil's wages are indexed to past inflation and GDP growth. Having 30% of the workers close to minimum wages, a change in wages has a high impact on labor costs. From the table, you can see there is an increase in wages over labor productivity. Finally, close to 49% of all credit is through directed channels such as state-owned banks, which is less responsive to monetary policy. Given these dynamics, I summarize the root cause analysis for stagflation as high policy interest rate. This is the only instrument for price stabilization. Regulated prices, 23.8% of CPA basket is composed of prices set by government, which means it is less responsive to monetary policy. Falling export prices. As I discussed earlier, falling exchange rate has direct impact on import costs. Balance sheet recession. With falling asset prices due to recession, firms and households using their cash flows to pay down debt instead of consuming or investing. This shows lack of confidence. It is a closed economy, lack of trade. Political turmoil. There is a pressure to win election and corruption, deal with the corruption issues by the leaders. As we understand the background, I will try to answer the case question. Would I recommend Tombini continue to raise interest rates? Why or why not? As we learn from the case, Rousseau's administration is pursuing an expansionary fiscal policy. Rising interest rates or contractionary monetary policy from central bank will negate government's objective and push the economy into a deep recession. Alternatively, if E decreases the interest rate, it will increase the aggregate demand and in turn the price levels will rise. As we can see, monetary policy can generally reduce inflation or increase growth rate, but cannot solve both inflation and recession at the same time. However, it is commonly assumed that an increase in interest rates reduces inflation. In the short run, the trade-off is due to sticky prices and wages, but in the long run, there is no trade-off between inflation and employment. But in Brazil's case, the effect of inflation rate is very less sensitive to increasing the interest rate. Instead, the falling exchange rate has negative impact on price levels and import costs. In the monetarist view, the primary objective is to reduce inflation, which may cause higher unemployment and lower economic growth in the short run. So due to political pressure, this may not be the right choice for Tumbini. 
There is no easy solution for this problem. Since Brazil needs a financial reform and the central bank needs autonomy to tighten the monetary policy to meet the inflation target. Besides other solutions such as supply side solutions, um, privatizing deregulation to increase productivity, increasing efficiency and reducing the cost of production can provide an increase in aggregate supply, but it may take longer time to take effect. That concludes my case analysis. Thank you.